The next tab we want to talk about in the main menu is our diagnostics tab. This is indicated by a stethoscope. This tab handily provides you information to help in assisting diagnosing any possible issues or any concerns you might have with the air card. The first tab, and I'll start at the bottom, is System Information tab. This will contain the air card software version that is currently loaded into your Precision Air 5 Series air card, as well as indicate if you have any in -law unlocks purchased, such as sectional control or curve compensation. The next tab is signal monitoring. This provides some signal information for the electronics, particularly on the 5 Series air card, the wheel speed sensor, to help diagnose any problems. The third tab from the bottom is faults. This gives you an archive of any fault codes that might have been generated. The fourth tab that's displayed here is the alarms tab. This tab will provide you an archive of any current running alarms that are active on the system. The final tab we'll talk about is the meter diagnostic tab. This provides a very visual representation of meter status. In this case, they're all indicated as green, which means they are fully functioning, no faults and no issues. From this visual picture, we're able to tap on this blue bar, which will bring up all of the motors that are assigned to that tank. From this page, it will show us our target RPM that they're supposed to be running at, their actual RPM, and as well as their total RPMs. This provides a very solid indication that your system is performing properly and that things like curve compensation are working. The last thing that can be accessed from here is an individual motor's information. From here will, will be indicated the RPM that that motor is running at and the current temperature that motor is running at. All of these things provide a high level of visibility to what the drive motors are doing on each of the drives per tank in your 5 Series air card.